If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman, spiritual coach, spiritual business coach. And today is Ascend Friday. So we are proving that the magic works today. And so today we have with me my former podcast host, Jules. She actually won one of the free readings on the show from posting a review for the new podcast. So Jules was a podcast host of mine back in the days when I was doing Spirit Sherpa. And now we're cross posting to Spirit Sherpa. So, you know, all good. We'll make sure this episode goes Yay. to the cross post because we're only yes, cross posting one episode. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, <clears throat> we are going to be doing a different kind of reading today than we have put up on the the internet before. Uh, and the the type of reading that we're doing. So, I asked Jules in advance. I was like, "Do you want a full personal, you know, spiritual evolution energy review?" Or do you want something a little different? And what she said was she wanted something that was a, what's in the way of her psychic skills, right? And so the, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at that, which is a third eye look, but we're also going to be looking at past life issues that might be in fact impacting and ancestral line issues that might be impacting. And when I look into those two things, I'm going to broaden the scope a little bit to be on the psychic skills and just see if there's anything else that's manifest in those spaces. And so, you know, we're going to be doing a little bit, something a little different today. I go create, figure it's, it's me and it's different. Go figure. Novel <laughs> concept, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So here we go. So first thing we have to do, <laughs> because I taught you well. <laughs> We're going to have to get you to let me into your shields. <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell, tell listeners what you told me before we got on the episode when you had oh, the thing, with Kathy. Yeah. So, so Kathy, you know, she's been on podcast several times, right? And, and Kathy went to go do an energy scan on me. She's like, hold up. I need you to get, let your wards down. You know, let, let, let your, your, your guard down. She says, because right now it's like I'm looking through a peephole and I can't see anything. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know I was doing that. She was like, oh, yeah, they're very good. She said, but can you lower them down? I'm like, I thought I did. She was like, no. She says, you may lo lower the outer ones, but the inner ones, oh, no, they're locked tight. So she said, you know, think about the, and I always go to the camera lens where it's like, okay, I'm opening the camera lens and it's like, okay, like beam me down, Scotty. And I'm, I'm lowering the, 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 the force field, you know, the, the shield down. So I literally have to visualize that. So. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you to do something a little different because I, I don't okay. like people to take their shields totally down. Um, oh, okay. so what I'm going to ask you to do is just open up a, a Kelly sized hole, right? So it is just for Kelly. Okay. And it is just for the purpose of this reading so that I don't have permanent access to your, through your shields. I shouldn't have that. That's not okay. You don't want to do that. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> so just, just for this reading. And then that way you have all your shields up for everything else still. Right. Cause yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I can see. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I taught you well. Okay. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> all right. So So I'm going to start off, let me see, do we want to do the aura? Now we, they're telling me we don't need to look at the aura. You know what's going on. So, okay. So we're just going to look at the third eye here. So let's just see what's going on. Hmm. Okay. There is a block on your transmitter. Let me see what that's about. Okay. Yeah. That's not this life. There is, there is definitely a block here. It's not you, you didn't put this in place in this life. So let me just check the receiver before we hop into the other pieces of the look of the reading. Okay. 
Okay. So the receiver also has a block on it, but you've managed to sort of circumvent it. You're sort of going under it and pulling it through. Under. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mostly where you're getting, because I know that you have access to information, but mostly where you're getting it from right now is through your crown with your guides and your higher self. I'm realizing I'm sounding very froggy. I sang last night all night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like, oh, I sound froggy because I blew my voice last night. Yeah. Okay. So let me look at this because let's, let's look at where this block is coming from. Oh, past life. Okay. This is a past life block and it is a long time ago. Past life block going back to like, It's almost like you did it twice. I'm getting 1200, 1200s, right? And, and 1600s. So I'm getting both. It's almost like you did it in the 1200s. You'd like sh shut it off then. <laughs> and then in the 1600s, you blew through it because that's who you are. <laughs> and you, that's you were like, statement. <laughs> this, is, this is just a bad idea. And you put it in harder. And so, oh, okay. you know, and so this is here. So let me see what's going on with that. Let me see why, because clearly you've spent two lifetimes shutting it down. So let me make sure you did it in the first place. Let okay. me check, make sure that that's the case. Cause that may not be the case. All right. Let me go back to the 1600 one is the one they're bringing me to. Okay. So they're telling me the 1200 isn't really relevant. So let me look at the 16, although mm, kind of relevant because yeah. Okay. So this was done to you and it, the 1200 is relevant because the same person in a different life did it both times. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> they're saying the story of the 1200 one isn't relevant. It's basically the same story. So we'll just skip that one. And so the 1600s, let me see. Okay, so they're, in, I don't know why I have to say it, 1641. Okay. Okay, so this, in this lifetime, you had a mentor who was helping you develop your skills. And you went so far so fast that you scared them and they got a little jealous and they used their the fact that you scared them because you were going so fast and they couldn't control you and they couldn't keep you keep you safe right quote unquote keep you safe right that they justified shutting down your powers yeah you getting the chills yeah yeah they that justified was, was that a family member <clears throat> let me check yes but not direct lineage it, it was a side family member like a okay that's weird mostly aunt you called them aunt but they were also your cousin because of some weird shit in your family line. So there was some crossbreeding in the family line so that they became aunt and cousin, but they were, they were referred to in your life as aunt. As aunt. Um, okay. And so, yeah. Um, I should say she was referred to as aunt because aunt. Yeah. Yeah. And then so what happened was you, you came into your awakening and reached out to her because this, she was a, a, a wise woman, a healer, that sort of thing. Right. Um, and this was at the time of the, there was a great burning of witches and there was a great, you know, there were, this was the beginning of things. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and she was concerned that you were going to out yourself. She was already out, right? She was already at risk because she was known as the wise woman. That's how you knew to go to her, the healer, right? Okay. And you just started like screaming past her 
and you were doing so much so fast and you were beyond her abilities and she didn't know what to do about that. And you were also very young. You, I, I'm getting that you were 14. Oh, and wow. so you didn't understand the danger, you, you know, 14, we don't get it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the combination of you were going well past her and she couldn't help you and she was afraid for you and mm -hmm. you were not being discreet and she was a little jealous, all of those things combined. And she was like, we're just going to shut this down because you are she knew how to do that <laughs> she said, and her justification was to keep you safe right okay. and actually they're giving me the 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 knowledge that she was actually killed for for her gifts shortly thereafter that you know oh, within a, within like seven months of that she was killed for her gifts and so you know <clears throat> she probably saved your life in that lifetime wow so you know, the, but what she didn't do was limit it to that lifetime. Oh, shit. So, okay. <laughs> so that's the problem that you're having right now. Okay. Okay. That makes so, so much sense. Yeah. So let me, let me see the fastest path for this is going to be to have her remove it since she put it on. So let me see if I can reach her in the astral and ask her to remove it because otherwise I'm going to have to go through a process. So, all right, let me just... follow her forward in time here through all the lifetimes and see if she's in spirit or in physical form. Cause if she's in physical form, it's going to be hard to reach her, but all right, this is a long line. <laughs> I was like, I keep going, it keeps going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There you are. She just poked her head up. Okay. Let me zoom in on that spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she is, and that's interesting. She is embodied right now, but she's also still psychic. So I can actually ask her because she's still in the astral. So let me just poke at her and see if she's willing. Yeah. Okay. So she's, she's embodied now. So she knows that the state of things has changed. Um, and yeah, she's agreeing to, to let that go. So hold on. Let me, let me see what I can do here watch that go wow she made this complex no wonder it lasted so many lifetimes <laughs> she's having to seriously unweave some stuff here i'm watching it go okay so She's mostly undone the weaving of it. The problem is it's been in, in place for so long that there's still the, the energetic of it is pretty strong. And so <clears throat> we're now having to, so what, so when you place a block on someone, it's there because you placed it there, right? But once it's in place and it stays, it has its own energetic. It, it develops its own energetic, right? Because it's, it, okay. it is its own beingness now. And the longer it's in place, the more solid that beingness becomes. And this has been in place for, you know, 400 years. So, um, yeah. So it's what we're working with now is she is unwound. Yeah, she's still doing the last vestiges of it. but. Right yeah right here <laughs> so the the last vestiges of it are being unwound right now ah okay yep i'm feeling that go do you get that okay so let me see here now still stuck hold on All right, I'm going to let her keep working and I'm going to look at the, let me see what the, the energetic is, then see if I can unwind the energetic that's been stuck for the 400 years here. So Ooh, pressure, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no, it's okay. 
like, oh, there you are. <laughs> mm. Damn, this thing's pernicious. Okay. So I broke it up some. It, it well, what it did was it separated it from your third eye. It just pulled it away. Let me see if she's done. Hold on. No, she's still unwinding, so that's not surprising. All right. Let me look at the receiver side here. Because you've managed to pop this one away already. So let me see if I can just... The transmitter side is, is still working, but let me... Let me see about the receiver side and see how that's going. Hold on. Okay. Receiver side is cleared. Good. Okay. That's cleared. Transmitter. Let's see where we are now that we've got the receiver gone. How's the transmitter doing? That's, that's, that's looking good. Okay. Yeah. She, she must be. I still feel her over here. So is that is that her that I'm feeling right here? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm still feeling her, right? Yeah. Like all down here. Whew. Yeah. She's okay. Yeah. So go auntie. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. And and she's she wants to offer you a blessing. She, she feels oh, bad you. about yeah. having limited you for 400 years. So she wants to offer you a blessing. So take it. <laughs> yeah. She didn't intend it to last 400 years. So she just wanted to keep you safe. Go big or go home. <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah. She was, she was a badass. <laughs> so she still is. So this blessing is going to be freaking awesome because it's also Sweet. your lineage, right? So it's, it's coming through your ancestral line. So she's going to offer you a blessing. It's going to come to you now, but okay. I'm also going to direct it from that time frame so that it comes through your lineage so that it actually impacts your whole lineage. Um, so oh, I'm cool. going to, I'm going to double, double down on this because why not? Right. So, okay. So whew, I don't know about you, but I got tingles all over my head. Um, <laughs> It's all right here. Yeah, I'm all just right like, there. Oh so the blessing God. is coming through. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna send it to the to there and and allow it in here. I'm gonna double down and then we're gonna pull it through the family line towards you, which will impact everybody in your family because it's a it's a it's a healing of a prior disruption in your line. And so that's, that's what I've been wanting to do. Yeah. So that's, that's exactly what I've been wanting okay, to do. There we go. I feel it coming through now. Here we go. Yeah. So you're getting it from her currently, but it's also coming in through your family line. And here we go. Okay. Now it's coming to you. Yep, right through my spine. <laughs> breathe, <laughs> breathe, breathe. Let it let it integrate. Breathe. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, now I'm just gonna get high. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna make you a little woofy for a while. <laughs> It's like everything's shifting. <laughs> okay. All right. Her energy feels complete now. I'm going to send her off with Ooh. a thank you and a you know, thank gratitude. You so thank you. And you didn't have me to get a name, did you? 
I'm asking too late. <laughs> so the problem is I got a name. It's Tracy. I don't know if it's this life or, la- or, or, the, or that life. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I'm not sure, but I got a name, Tracy. That's all I got. And um, <sighs> okay. She's leaving a huge void on my <laughs> right side. I'm just like, wow, it's empty there now. <laughs> yes. Right? You can feel yeah. it. You, yeah, can right? Feel it. It's like, whoa. And it yeah. got cold all of a sudden. Yeah. It got cold. Yeah. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, all right. All right. <laughs> so we, we got past life and ancestral on that one. So who knew? And current life, you know, okay. yeah, <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Yeah. So, new. <laughs> all right. So I want you to, you know, do a little test and see how you're feeling now. I mean, yeah. Ground okay. first, put, <laughs> put some grounding in because, you know, Dang you're it. all up and out of your head right now. I'm, 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 <laughs> floating. Like, I'm, I'm high. <laughs> who needs, good. who needs drugs? I'm high. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I can still pass drug tests. I'm great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, going down. <sighs> so to make sure you're doing the right thing, okay. go out through the third eye. <sighs> okay. Okay. The th- you ask right. a question through the third eye, go to the Akashic <laughs> Records and get the answer, right? But you don't necessarily have to visualize, but. Okay. Uh, sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. So do you want some help with the grounding? <laughs> yeah, Jay. Woof. Okay, hold on. Lord. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I did tell you. I asked if you were ready because, you know, yeah. I'm here. Okay. All right. So you're going to go out through your third eye and ask a question. So whatever question you want to know and see how you do. Okay. Let's see. No pressure. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, this is a diagnostic. So, you know, if it doesn't work, it's my fault, not yours. And it's going to work. Huh. Okay. I actually asked about my brother. Okay. He passed away about 19-ish, and he's been, I'll say, stuck. Savannah actually helped him to cross over because he was Savannah stuck Martin. here. Yeah. Right. It's Savannah Martin, right. Badass. Yeah. And so, okay, and now it's like it, it's just vibrating, and it's getting hot. That's a new one. I haven't had it get hot before. Right, because it that's, hasn't been open. That's new. Yeah, so I, it, there's hasn't been energy running through there in 400 years. So that's why it's getting hot is because it's like, oh, 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 I'm waking up. It's like it's like a, a limb that's fallen asleep and the tingles yeah. and the heat. It's that's the same it feels thing. Like. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. OK. All right. Cool. So I've been wanting to, like, send him Reiki and kind of help him on the other side because he's he's having a hard time on the other side. That's and I would dream this. So a lot of my information comes in through dreams. Right, because that's when your guides can talk to you through the crown chakra, right? Through the crown. Yeah. Okay. So that totally makes sense. And so now I actually saw him, which I've never seen before. And it's like he's in a classroom and he's frustrated because he's trying to learn whatever the, the lesson, the thing. And he's like, he keeps making the same mistake over and over. And so I haven't been able to picture that before. Ah, okay. That's new. I've been trying to figure out how to communicate with him so I can help him 
if you know if, if again if he's open to the help and all that right. and something keeps telling me he is but it's like it's like it's been like this yeah. he's over there i'm over here and it's like I, I i can't figure this out so that makes complete sense as to why i'm like dude i'm trying i got nothing right <laughs> you know so wow well that makes sense okay so yeah again I, it, it's, it's a picture but you know how before I told you, like I saw it like a chalk drawing. That's mm -hmm. how I would see stuff like say like on the black on the blackboard, and I would see it as a chalk drawing. This was a three D image. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's because you were receiving it around the block. Remember, I told you you were going around yeah. it, and so you were only getting the chalk outline because that's all yeah. you could get past that block. Okay. So that's what, and remember when, when I was in class, it, all throughout the classes, the, the, wait, what do we call them? the, the woo you, the woo squared, the welcome to the woo, all, all of yep. them. As I was going through them, I'm like, I can, I, that's all I see is chalkboard, yep. you know? So, and we're like in the class men now, you know, it's, you know, we're trying out different things. I'm, I'm not going to give the the secrets away, guys. You're just going to have to take the class <laughs> to see. But I'm just saying, if you make it to the third, you get to do really, really cool shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. And I'm going, and it's like I was literally, pun intended, hitting my head against a brick wall. Yeah. Third eye. Huh? So, yeah. and it's like, I can't, I, I, I'm trying. Sucker, I'm trying. And even the remote viewing, when we, I'll, I'll give that little part the remote viewing when we were practicing that it's like it took me a while to to get there and still it was still chalk drawings so right. now i'm like hmm okay now i'm gonna go play and <laughs> see how this comes in okay cool okay yeah. i'm gonna shut up so and and for the record <laughs> for those of you going well why didn't we pick this up in the reading in in the classes is because yeah a lot of people see things very differently and mm -hmm. she wasn't failing to see stuff she just wasn't seeing a full color image which yeah right. different people's brains work different ways so there was no reason for me to think that there was a problem because she was still getting great information and so yeah, yeah so you know having and this experience is because you haven't talked about being blocked to him or else we would have addressed mm -mm. this before mm -mm. but I, yeah so i just <laughs> i just figured i'm like well you know because i started out on the the first class you know and i had to fix myself and my you know solidify the container so i could do this stuff so i'm like okay well this is you know of course i want it yesterday and the <laughs> universe is like yeah that's cute so, you know <laughs> you know and so but i was working but you know I, it's a, it's a muscle and so these yeah. are new muscles you know and that was one of the things that that i had learned was stop being so damn hard and judgmental on myself because it's just, it serves no purpose. All I'm doing is making more baggage for myself. And all I'm doing is inter is creating interference between me and said universe. And I'm like, okay, I got it. Just, yeah. just freaking chill. Yeah. Um, so, and when I, if I would get a little glimpse of color, it would be like through a little bitty keyhole and it'd be just <laughs> for a second, yeah. you know? So that makes sense. Yeah. You spent 400 years prying up the edge of that block to get to the receiver side i was it's digging a, up you would have gotten there eventually but you know this was faster because <laughs> i don't know that it would have happened this life so yeah that was that was some hardcore shit there right now you know that <laughs> she was she was quite good at that so which Wait. was good because you were yeah you were crazy going wild on that i mean and so Guys, for those of you on this podcast who have who have not been listening to the prior one where we've told this story before, and just so you know, the prior prior podcast was Spirit Sherpa, and we're on Spirit Guides now. And um, <clears throat> for those of you who haven't heard this story, Jules turned a freaking hurricane and had it avoid impacting her property. There was a hurricane. Yep. What was the name of it? Ida? Ida. Yep, Ida. Yeah, I think it was so Ida. Hurricane Ida was supposed to she she lives down in Baton Rouge. And mm -hmm. and Hurricane Ida was supposed to go straight over the top of her house. And she's like, called me up. She's like, what do I do? What do, I do? 
and, and I'm like, okay, so we're going to change the way you do your wards to slow down the winds. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk to the hurricane and ask it to move so that it doesn't come over. Right, your what? <laughs> well, what you mean? I'm talking to a hurricane. I, I can't do that yet. And she was like, bitch, yes, you can. So <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, when you and I first met, um, and started doing this, you're like, how can you not feel that power? What do you, what you, you're, you're a badass. You just don't know it yet. And I'm like, what you talking about? You know? So, so hello, it's, it's, it's in lineage. Right. So I'm like, yeah. okay, that totally makes sense. But yeah. So the hurricane was coming. And part of that so, lineage is so, you just so you know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm embracing it fully now. I'm like, yeah, let's go. There you go. So, yeah. so, so let's, so let's say, you know, here was, here was, you know, where the hurricane was supposed to hit. Yeah. So all the models had it going this way. Well, I'm in the backyard. I'm like, okay, let's do this. So I sit down. I would have swore to you I was levitating with the energy and all that was around me. And I'm like, okay, I called in spirit guides. I called in all my celestial helpers. I mean, everybody. And I said, okay, can, hi, see me. Can you just like avoid, you know, and, and I made my offerings, you know, and all that. And I defined our property. I actually got permission from Deb to include them in it because it's a seven acre plot because, you know, I had to get that permission because not my land. Right. And, and it was supposed to go here. Y'all, it moved 20 miles at the last minute and went that way. And it was on the news because none of the models predicted and none of the meteorologists had any explanation as to why it moved 20 miles. <laughs> it just kind of went, okay. You we know, know why. <laughs> yeah yeah and i'm like <laughs> and then tell the tell tell what happened with the neighbors where they were coming over and, and the damage oh yeah so so we had like maybe one one or two little limbs down like not a big deal and so the neighbors came over and they're like okay we got trees down you know we had trees down in the pasture but again the wards kept because i said no one you know injured or none of the buildings. So the trees went down, but they were in the middle of the pasture. And I'm like, cool, we got firewood. I'm good. <laughs> you know, but they were like, how did that, you know, not, and then outside of the seven acres, there were trees down in the road, trees down, I mean, houses, all, you know, destruction, all that. And they're like, how did y'all get? I'm like, that's eh, just one of those little things. <laughs> so, and my husband had pulled up our trucks, we have like a big silver trailer and it had a kitty, a kitty swimming pool, no water in it. Okay. A kitty swimming pool in the back is open trailer. The kitty pool never moved all hundred mile an hour wind blowing around there. Nothing was holding the kitty pool down. It was lit. And I have, I have pictures. It literally sat just, I took it, put it in the thing. And I'm like, let's just see what happens. He's like, <laughs> There's, that's going to be miles away by the time, you know, it's going to make a tornado and shit. And it sat there and never moved, you know, <laughs> in a hurricane. In a hurricane. Came through. Just saying. Where you were 20 <laughs> miles from the eye. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Which is yep. not far in a hurricane. No, yeah. no, not at all. Not at all. So, yeah, that was, that was a, oh shit moment. Like, damn, this shit's real. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember. Let's see, let's see what else yeah. I can do. <laughs> <laughs> what else can I do? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an Encanto fan. So, <laughs> the, yeah, I remember speaking of weather witching, right? I remember my friends were getting married. This was, oof, I want to say like 2001. My friends were getting married and my, my, the guy was, had already had a conversation with the weather gods about having a nice day. So it, it was not going to rain. It was going to be a nice day. Right. And it was getting a little too hot. We were just starting to like sweat. And I reached out to the weather god. Actually, I reached, I reached out to the wind and I said, Hey, could you kick up some, we could use a breeze. And they were like, sure. And I was just like, spin, 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 spin. And my friends who were watching me do this were like, because the winds just kicked up because I used to be the wind, right? I remember being the wind. And so mm -hmm. this, I've just called my friends and said, Hey, can you come play? Right. And they're like, yeah. And so we got a nice breeze 
And then it was still not quite cool enough. And, and I was like, can we cool off a little bit? So I talked to the weather guts at that point. I was like, can we cool off a little bit? I'd, I'd like a little cool. And they're like, yeah, but there's going to be violent thunderstorms if we do that. And I, oh. because cool, low pressure system comes in mm-hmm. to a high pressure and suddenly you got thunderstorms, right? Yeah. And they said, yeah, we can do that, but there's going to be violent thunderstorms. I said, that's fine everywhere, but here. And they went, okay. Okay. And we got the very embarrassed sprinkling of rain, just like the, just enough to cool you and be refreshing, mm-hmm. but, but, you know, just super, super light rain. And then it stopped. And on the news that night, I looked at the weather and there was this line around the city that we were in of violent thunderstorms <laughs> and this empty space in the middle. <laughs> I was like, there you go. <laughs> Mm-mm. <laughs> you know, the weather gods don't get talked to very often. So, you know, when you ask them for stuff, they're like, hey, you're noticing? Us? Yeah, we'll we'll help you out. That's all good, you know? And you just, you're yeah. like, thanks, guys, you rock, right? You and they're rock. just like, we got you, right? And, and, and I was mentioning that normally you do not reincarnate into the same lineage twice. It's just not something, there's so many lineages, there's so many things to do that you don't normally do that. And, but this time, and I was like, I I was realizing this as you were telling your story and I was just sort of, it was percolating in the back of my head and, you know, whatever. But as we were talking afterwards, I'm like, you know, this is the, the thing that happened is you actually reincarnated into the same lineage to be able to correct that that issue, right. And have it come through the lineage. And, you know, the, the person who was your auntie is not in your current lineage because she did what's normal, right. (laughs) Which is not to incarnate in the same lineage, right. You specifically came back in to correct this because it wasn't meant to last multiple lifetimes. And so this is the problem. There you go. And this is the problem when you do magic and you don't set some parameters is that sometimes it has unintended consequences and this is an unintended consequence. So, but you were saying something about somebody you had told about, you'd been told about correcting a lineage or something. To, what was yeah. that? So during my reading with Savannah, it was on my 50th birthday and I said, okay, girl, just Savannah Martin. Um, and I knew my dad was going to come through. I just, because he and I had some stuff we had to fix. So I had all that baggage. I let that go. And, and of course she was talking to him, you know, and all that. And he said, he was like, watch what my daughter's going to do. She's fixing the lineage lineage. And I'm like, what? Okay. But that has stuck in my head this entire time. Okay. And that was what, two years ago, two, three years ago. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's something I'm supposed to do. And I knew I was supposed to do it. I didn't know how. And then recently I'm like, I have a block. I know I have a block. I don't know how, but again, all this comes in dreams. And so it's like, I would, how it was manifested in my dreams is I would go to do something. And then it's like, I'll be frozen. And so I've been trying to figure this out and I'm like, why do I look like a pantomime? You know, <laughs> you know, why do I look like a pantomime? And I'm like, I've got a block. I don't know where it is. I've gone inside. I, I'm like, there's something going on that I can't see. Then I had another dream where I was blind. Mm. Then, and I, and, or I was totally in the dark and I had to feel, literally feel my way through and I'm trying to make sense. Then another dream. Every, all of the people that I saw were chalk outlines. And I'm like, okay, this, something's trying to tell me something. Then by sheer randomness, y'all, we didn't plan it. I'm telling you, when she spun the wheel, it hit my name. I'm like, and then we were talking before this about what, and you asked me, do you have a question? I'm like, yeah, what kind of, it's got to be past lives. And I haven't, I have not been with all my might I've tried to go back to a past life and figure out, I'll get little glimpses, you know, of just little images, but I can't figure out where it was and all of that. And so then to have this happen today, I'm like, and then clear that I'm like, okay, it's to me, it's all come to fruition 
Um, but it started with me. Yeah, well, started this portion started like if I hadn't had that uh, reading with Savannah, hadn't cleared those other baggage blocks, crap that I was carrying around, it wasn't mine. And then heard that from my dad and that stuck with me. And my dad's been hanging out with me a lot lately. I'll, I'll smell his cigarettes. Whenever he was smoking, I'll smell it. And I'm like, there's nothing burning. And it's a, it's Territon cigarettes, which have a very distinct smell. Yeah. And um, so I know that's him and we're, and we're cool now, but had all of that not played and then me going through your courses and all that, I'd be like, okay. And then having us come today and then do the reading that is not your normal reading to do with this kind of thing. We're like, screw it. Let's do this. You know, it's pretty badass. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and what's so funny is that, you know, there's like this big thing right now about healing your lineage. Right. And I'm mm. normally like, this is not your job right? It is not your job to heal your lineage. It is not right. your job, right? And so you you know that that's, that's mm -hmm. what I say, right? Mm -hmm. So, but in this case, you were healing your lineage because you came back into the lineage specifically to do that, right? And so that's, it, it's, it's all this stuff coming together. It's just, I love the way spirit works. It's just amazing. So, yeah. So I yeah. just needed, you know, I, you know, we were talking afterwards and I'm like, we should have recorded this. We should have. I'm like, we're going to record this. We're going to so, record this. <laughs> so we wanted to come back in and, and drop this in for you guys because she was just like, wow, you know, and we were talking and, and I'm like, okay, no, you guys need to hear this. So, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, to, and to me, it's, it's very important. Um, I, I like sharing, you know, because there's somebody out there going, this shit can't be real. This, all this stuff is lining up and what all of a sudden a song came on radio. No, that's real. They're trying to go, Hey, you need to listen, you know? So they have so many tools and that's what I'm realizing on my journey. There's so many tools out there for them to use. Do you think they're not going to use them? Yeah. You know, whatever we're drawn to, whatever it, it's, it's all for a purpose. Yeah. You know. you know, what's really funny is I was watching, rewatching The Good Place the other day, and there was an episode where the 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 arch demon, right, who's like the, the leader of The Good Place, right, is trying to get a message across to the humans, the four humans that are involved in this while he's like standing up on stage in front of all the other demons, right? And anyway, but the uh, the upshot is that the, they were picking up on these messages and they're like, look, we got it. And they, he's like, you got the, you got four messages messages that I sent. And they said, yeah, he said, well, I sent 1290, but you know, four is good. <laughs> four is good. Like, yes. That's spirit. Right. <laughs> that's it. And that's us. Right. It's just, I was like, oh my God, that's so true. <laughs> if it was a drinking game on the other side, they would be so sober. <laughs> because if they had to drink every time we got a message, they'd be like, okay, she finally got one. <laughs> you know, a hundred years later. <laughs> yeah, we do our best, right? We, we get right. better over time. We do, we do. We get better over time. That's that's why we do this stuff, is you gotta work the muscle. If you don't work the muscle, it yes. doesn't get stronger, right? You gotta work the muscle. That's it. So okay. And now for reels, we're actually yes. done. <laughs> So, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This one it would be a great one to do that with. And uh, don't forget that what you focus on is what expands and what you intend is what you create. So choose wisely. Have a good one. <laughs> So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh, I'm